vacuum is very much often misunderstood, don't you, Josh? Uh, I'm assuming you're not talking about Dyson's and Hoover's here? No, no. Um, I'm talking about the perceived effect in which air seems to pull towards the object that's creating the vacuum. Gotcha. Well, a vacuum is a perceived effect mm -hmm. as a result of local pressure being less than ambient pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, the consideration of ambient pressure is important because uh, vacuum is relative. Mother Nature is uh, not a fan of pulling. Mm -hmm. um, there's no such thing as a pull force, only a push force, with the exception of things like gravity. Okay, so other than your little appliance here, how is a vacuum created? A vacuum is created when a volume of space is increased, okay. um, such as the space created behind an impeller mm -hmm. when air is pushed away to the opposite side of the impeller. Mm -hmm. The increased volume will have a lower density than the surrounding atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, pressure likes to equalize, so the ambient air pressure tries to move in to fill the space by the increased volume. Uh, air is pushed towards the vacuum okay. uh, by the pressure of the atmosphere and not sucked in by some pulling force. Okay, so a uh, pretty good summary, but is there anything else that fluid power professionals need to know about vacuum? The larger the volume you create, or the faster the rate you create the volume, the higher the pressure differential will be to create your vacuum. Mm -hmm. uh, but always remember that air is pushed in towards the vacuum, um, not the other way around. All right, appreciate it, Josh. I'll let you get back to your uh, housework here. And meanwhile, uh, check out all of our other videos online at www.fluidpowerworldonline.com.